ever flayed a salmon or a steelhead, you know that there's an extra row of bones down the center of the fillet that you need to deal with. Now, this is also present on a trout, but typically the smaller fish you don't have to worry about the bones because once you cook the fillet, those bones are going to be so soft that you won't even know that they're there. But the larger fish you do have to do something with them because you can't eat them. One approach you can use is to leave the bones in and to cook it that way and then take the bones out as you're eating it. But that's somewhat of a bother and so what I like to do is take the bones out before I cook it and today I'll show you the method that I use to do that. The extra row of bones is located just above the center line of the fillet, so right along here I can fill the bones. What you want to do is lay the fillet down with the skin side down and then use a needle nose pliers or a strong tweezers to pull out the bones. Now what you need to do is pull the bones toward the front of the fish. So the front of the fish is here, I'm going to pull the bones this way. It's important to pull the bones uh, in the direction uh, that they're pointed and that way you don't break them off. And it's pretty easy to tell which direction they're running because as I run my finger down this way, I can feel the bones digging into my finger. If I run my, my finger this way, I don't really feel anything. And that means the bones are angled this way toward the front of the fish. So it's pretty simple. I'll just start at one end and work toward the other. Now it does take a little bit of practice to get this right. You have to have a pretty firm grip on the bone and you have to pull it exactly the right direction but once you get onto it it's fairly easy to go down through and remove them all. Once you're finished removing the bones just double check to be sure you got them all. Just lift up the fillet and bend it away from yourself and feel along the row to be sure that you got them all. And then go ahead and repeat the process for the other fillet.